Hey guys, I am back again with another video. Um, today, it is freezing cold outside. I'm in my pyjamas in my art studio and we are predicted snow in the UK. So of course, I think we've had three flakes of it so far. So pretty much my entire city has bought all the bread that ever existed and all the milk that ever existed. And everyone's gone crazy because apparently there's gonna be a little bit of snow tonight, so. Hi now, so I thought I would make use of the time and um, I'm really behind on all of my projects. I'm going to start getting these a bit more together soon. This month I'm going to try and get invested in March of the Robots, which is a March drawing challenge. Every day for the day of March you draw a robot. So I'm going to try and get a few of those up on my Instagram by the end of today. So uh, keep a check out on there, all links below. But for today I want to talk about art style and um, do so while I draw this lady. Is she in shot? Is she in frame? Who knows? Okay. Well, there we go. So I'll uh, chat to you in a sec. Well, hello, we are back again and hopefully this is all recording nicely. Um, yeah, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about finding your own art style and it's kind of a trick title or a trick question because uh, by now any artist has trained their own eye to look at their work critically. You're not going to be able to or you're going to have a much bigger difficulty taking a step back and looking at the body of your work objectively. So um, even now like I spoke to a friend not so long ago we were talking about art styles and that sort of stuff and I can't see that I have a particular set style she really can and she can't see that she has a particular set style but I really really can so that kind of uh, that's one of those things you're just gonna have to deal with just to learn that you're not gonna be able to see your work objectively ever I think I touched on this lightly in my last video but um, one of the biggest things I see people doing when it comes to sort of finding their art or attempting to is that your style is already there you don't really have to find it and it only really comes out when you um, do a big body of work and I think that's sometimes when you finished like a good few hundred pieces you can sit back and go well yeah I, that, that artist did that or yeah I, I did that I think uh, people as well often mistake style for subject matter especially in the style of work that I do um, People think a certain style of eye is their style. It's not. It's the, just the subject matter you're drawing. I think even if you drew cats or dogs or something completely or landscapes, somebody who knows your work would be able to pick out that you've drawn that something. Your essence is in that space. So I wouldn't waste too much time trying to find your style as I would just getting your bum into that seat and just keep on working. Also, um, I think what I found over, over the years with my work is that I have sort of collections or themes of work where a big bunch of what I do will have, well, like say like at the moment I'm drawing a bunch of ghost girls. So all of the girls have, seem to have similar shaped eyes, similar shaped um, the way their body proportions are and that sort of stuff. And you will get themes like that where parts of your parts of what you draw will sort of shift and change and, and that's okay but that's not really your style I could change that all tomorrow and I probably will you know um I think it's you have to just keep pushing forward and keep making um, I think a lot of the times when you see an artist whose style it seems really really established just know that they're having the exact same struggles as you because I've spoken to lots of them I know lots of um arty people and from the outside I see I see what they do and I can clearly point out their work but they can't and it's just because over the years of looking at your work technically it's hard then to untrain your eye to look at it objectively so just just be easy with yourself just take it easy you know at the end of the day um, as long as you're actually still making and still doing stuff um, your style will naturally evolve anyway and I kind of think it, I don't know whether it's a good thing to have a, a, or to aim for a definite style because then you run the risk of getting stuck and everything being rigid. I would be more inclined to go down the path of just uh, drawing what you feel is naturally in you to draw. And if it comes out looking a certain way, then it does. And if when you put a body of work together, none of it looks like it's um, all done by the same artist. I personally don't get why that's a bad thing. 
but I don't think you're going to be the most objective person to sort of discern that anyway, because I think all artists will do different disciplines and different types of work, different illustrations or one-off pieces, that sort of stuff. And if you stick any body of artist, any artist's body of work in one place over a lifetime, I think if you saw the same thing over and over and again, I think that's kind of a waste of an, a, a creative outlet. So little two pence worth of advice today is just don't bother trying to find an art style you already have it just keep making and it will show itself okay so just take your time uh be easy be gentle with yourself and just go from there you know nothing it's it's all okay it doesn't matter as long as we're just making art that's all we're doing is painting pretty things it's fine all right. Okay. So I shall uh, I shall leave you with that for today. I hope it's enough. If not, let's continue the conversation below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you very, very much. You take care of yourself, and I'll speak to you soon.